Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to talk about my top three favorite lighters. This is a video that was inspired by our friend Justin, who asked me on the website a while back. And I've become a little bit distracted and actually forgotten. So when I was going back through and answering questions on the website, I saw that and decided to go ahead and make that video now. The problem is that while I do have three favorite lighters, I only have one of those style of lighters present today. While there may be only one of those styles here today, I obviously have several examples of that style of lighter, which is the aluminum block, unique thumb roller flint tension mechanism Cygnus that was made by Penguin, I believe mainly in the 1950s. And these are the lighters that I collect. I collect others as well, but these are really the only lighter that I am in the market for, regardless of the embellishments or color or plainness of the lighter. I will always be looking to buy Cygnuses simply because I'm going to need parts, if nothing else. The other two lighters are the Ronson Debonair and the Thorns Double Claw Semi-Automatic. The Debonair is a fully automatic lighter where the Thorns Double Claw is a semi-automatic. Just to get back to the Cygnus for a moment though and give you an overview on it, if you are unfamiliar. The Cygnus is an aluminum block long roller lighter with the unique flint tension mechanism where you don't need a screwdriver to manipulate your flint screw or flint spring screw. They have a nice tight snuffer, typically will have a good seal or gasket on the fuel screw along with a spare flint compartment in the underneath side of that screw. I have stated many times that I believe that Cygnus are impervious to vapor lock and I stand by that. If the flint roller tension is set to the right level, then the Cygnus Petrol lighter is going to ignite every time. Very excellent, usable, great design of a lighter. Which would also be an apt description of the Thorns Double Claw. You can see this particular model was heavily engine turned very nice pattern front and back did have some blemishes a little bit of plating loss scratches scuffs that sort of thing this lighter was not functional when i got it it was missing or i shouldn't say missing but the file wheel was broken had broken off a couple of those prongs that the claws grab a hold of. So I had to wait a while and locate a suitable file wheel to replace it with. But once I got that file wheel installed in the lighter, then everything was good. You can see the fuel screw on it also has a spare flint compartment. The semi-automatic or push-button mechanism that 
the thorns lighters employ make them really nifty and also a real work of craftsmanship to use and to hold in your hand this is not some quick idea to design a lighter but a very complex mechanism where everything within that mechanism works together so that when the button is pushed the lid flies up not only does the lid fly up but the claws grab the file wheel and turn the file wheel against the flint that is sitting with pressure from that spring on top so that the mechanism lights as it opens really nifty really cool and obviously not hard to see why that's one of my favorites this rhodium plated debonair was also not functional when I got it the flint tube was obstructed clogged with old degraded flint so you can go watch that video and see where we disassembled the mechanism dealt with the old degraded flint and then reassembled the mechanism on top of the lighter this is probably the most functional Ronson lighter that I ever owned I can't say enough about the mechanism I can't tell you how well it worked and how great it felt in your hand when you were lighting it. You just got the feeling that there was no way that this mechanism was ever going to fail to light. Obviously not hard to understand why I love that lighter so much. So those are the three that I've chosen for varying reasons. For one, all three of these lighters are excellent igniters, excellent designs. The Cygnus may have some issues with fuel efficiency. The Debonair had a really nice large tank on it. Seemed to hold fuel very well and be very efficient. The Thorins as well. I can't think of any real knocks on it one of the more impressive efficiently lighting lighters that I have encountered I mentioned that I had repaired the or replaced the file wheel in the one in this video I've owned a couple of others and they all worked extremely well so those are my three favorites of course the Cygnus right there at the top along with the Ronson Debonair and the Thorns Double Claw Semi-Automatic Mechanism. Everybody seems to love the Thorns. The Debonair is probably somewhat more unknown than the other two, but the Debonair was just a buzzsaw of a lighter that I would be glad to own another one of those at any time. The Cygnus, you all know about it. Obvious for several reasons why it is my favorite. Until next time.